Hey, I'm going to show you how to properly clean and maintain your laptop computer and keyboard. Um, any laptop should be cleaned out and blown out at least once a year uh, for proper maintenance. You'd be surprised all kinds of dust and hair that gets all up in there and clogs up the fan. Um, basically, if you're not comfortable doing this, you want to be taking your laptop to a qualified professional to clean out at least once a year. Uh, the more the better, but once a year is recommended. Um, basically keeps the, the fan from getting all cogged up with dust and air, keeps the laptop running cool and properly. So I've got two older laptops to show you here today. One is a Dell Latitude and one is an HP EliteBook. I chose these two laptops because they have two different methods of opening. Um, but if you're not sure how to open up your laptop, make sure you check uh, your manufacturer's website, look it up on YouTube, find the proper way to get into your laptop uh, to get to the fan and clean it out. So there are a couple things you're going to need. First thing is going to be a precision screwdriver set. Um, I'll put a link down in the description below to a good precision sc screwdriver set that will let you get into pretty much any laptop. Some are going to be straight Phillips bits, some are going to be Torx bits. It depends on the laptop and the manufacturer. Second thing you're going to need if you're going to be cleaning out the keyboard, I like to use these cheapo painter's uh, brushes. You get these at Home Depot. Um, it's just like a $1 paintbrush with long, flexible bristles. Uh, those are cheap and easy to get. Then the third thing you're going to need is an air compressor. You can use something like that. I'll put a link to a really good one down in the description below. Um, these days it's good for any household to have a good air compressor. Uh, they're pretty versatile, you can do lots of things with them. You can do anything from taking off your lug nuts on your tire to blowing out your computer. And finally what you're going to need is a good uh, air duster set. You can get these pretty much anywhere. I'll put links down in the description for these as well. Basically a $10 set, it comes with all kinds of attachments. Basically allows you to direct the air from your air compressor into a nice uh, nice little pointed end there to clean out your laptop. So let's get into it here. You're going to be getting into your laptop in one of two ways. Um, first method is going to be laptops that are accessed from the bottom and the second method is laptops that are accessed from under the keyboard. So we'll start on this Dell Latitude here. This one actually only has one screw. And that's a keeper screw. You don't even have to worry about losing that because it once you get it completely loosened, it just stays in there and gets kept in place. And then this entire cover just snaps off like that. That's really nice. Everything we need to clean is right there. You can pre replace the hard drive there, replace the memory there. You could even replace like the CMOS battery, wireless card, blow out the fan, replace the fan. Um, everything is nice and easy to get to. So for this one, all we're going to do is take our compressed air. You want to blow out that fan really and Then blow it from the back side. And then while you're in there, clean everything up. That's it for the motherboard. We got the fan clean, we clean out all this other stuff. That was really easy, super easy. Um, now we'll just put our cover back on and it's good to go. Um, some are going to be a little bit more complicated than that. I like this HP Elite book here. Um, on this one, you have to access the motherboard from uh, under the keyboard. So we've got three keyboard screws, they're actually labeled with a little keyboard icon. We just unscrew those. Alright, with those three screws unscrewed, the ones labeled with the keyboard icon, let's go ahead and pull out the battery. And we'll flip it over. And there's actually uh, little latches here. There's uh, four little latches in between the F keys. You're just going to slide those back and then uh, I just grab the top of the keyboard with my fingernails lift it up and then pull it forward and it comes out like that 
And then we're actually going to go ahead and uh, pull out the connector. Just lift up the little tabs on either side. keyboard. Now we have access to the fan and uh, pretty much the same stuff we had access to on the other one. That is clean. Now let's focus on the keyboard. Once you have all the dust cleaned out, just take yourself some uh, isopropyl alcohol and some paper towels and you can clean all of the all the surfaces except the screen. You don't want to use isopropyl alcohol on the screen unless you're sure that you don't have some sort of anti-glare coating on the screen. Most manufacturers recommend that you don't use isopropyl on the screen itself. Now we'll take our air again and get all the little paper towels out. To clean the screen, you can either use a uh, actual screen cleaning solution. Uh, it's basically just a mild soap. Uh, this here is a gel formula. Uh, but you can also use a 50% vinegar and 50% water. Distilled water and uh, white vinegar. That'll do just fine. It's basically taking the place of a mild cleaning solution. You definitely want to use a lint-free cloth for this. You don't want to use paper towel. Paper towel can actually scratch the screen. Same is true with coffee filters. Coffee filters are made of paper and they can actually scratch the screen. I've seen some YouTube videos about using coffee filters for cleaning the screen. I do not recommend that. I use lint-free cloth. I'll put a link where you can get like a five pack for like, you know, under 10 bucks on Amazon really cheap. There we go. Our laptop is good to go for another six months to a year. Be sure to subscribe to the channel.